Hello everyone, welcome back. So this week we said we'd give you a recipe. We're going to start the video with a recipe and we're going to need this for it and, if, and we'll, t we'll show you a quick film on the way to where we're going to Tony and Nicky's to pick up our secret ingredient. Before we do that we're going to give them a gift. So I'm going to cut, up, cut off some limbs as a gift for them. We are also filling the IBCs with a sub pump and the Blue Etty. Uh, I make a table for Cindy Vine. I'm going to be clearing the weeds around the uh, front patio area so it can finish the calzada next week. <laughs> So Nikki has said she's always wanted one of these, so we're going to go and give her a cutting. Timber. These are really good because we just take a few yeah, bottom I'll show leaves. You. So what you do with these? This is a giant yucca. Uh, just peel these leaves off like so. up to about where my hand is yeah and then just dig a hole and put it in and they grow they're amazing things and uh, she also wants some bay leaves so we're going to give her some cuttings I don't know if she actually wants them it's just we want to get rid of the, uh, the height oh. So a quick bit of tapiri going on. So I'd probably pronounce that tokiri, but um, yeah, each to their own. <laughs> stand back and admire your oh, that looks huh? better already. Really? Yeah. We'll trim it up properly when we get back. Yeah. Ideal, right. On to the next stage. So we've arrived, Andrew's unloading the cargo uh, for the surprise for Nikki. Where is she? Hello, Harvey. Hello, mate. I'll film, get Andrew to do all the work. Chickens away, that's why I was. Ah, cool. So, gifts for you. Whether you wow. want them or not, you've got some bay that you can do cuttings oh, from. So there's two big bits there. So you can, if you take the some ends off, you can do some cut, nice mm. cuttings. Amazing! <laughs> I've got to have enough bay leaves to I last know. me for about ten years. What's that? I bought you some trees. So the magical stuff that we come for are these elderflower heads. Yeah, and she's got a big. Thing on a stick here. Ta da! <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a circus act. <laughs> <It> dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it. Right. So we're going to harvest 48 of these. Hope you're counting. Yeah. We're on six. Oh, I'm too short, really. <laughs> and you can't see. Go no, on. it's really. That's 
Oh, no, I can't get <laughs> Go that for one. lower one, go for these lower ones. It must have been an egg laid, because oh. there's all egg laying noises going on. Yeah. Do you mean a wheel demo? Yeah. 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 <coughs> Ready, catching? Get, some, the, get some of the really tall ones. Because here, do you want to do some catching? Oh, Harvey. Harvey, come you here. You get the barrel. <laughs> Where are you? Don't. I'll take some of these lower ones that can go better. You can go right if you need to. Stop. I'm not going the ones with actually some flowers on. Well, they like that one, yeah. Miss. No, that's seems fixing it, mate. Right, get some. Yeah, this. Here, this. Here, you can Ready? Hang on. Whoa, yeah. Hi. Mm. The smell's sweet. I'm going to have to crawl up the tree. Mm -hmm. No, because we're asking for elderberries for the autumn. So, we've now returned home and Angie's putting all the sugar we have left. Do we need how many kilos? We need 4.8 kilos. Mm -hmm. Roughly, I mean, I'm, I'm putting, I think I've got about 4.65. So. Okay. I should have bought some more. Yeah. But we've been just using any old sugar, yeah. uh, what we've got left over basically. I could well, put honey in it as well. 48 so. kilos of sugar and we've got the 48 heads of elderflowers which is just going to debug the stem and then put in the same bucket. And I'm going to go and collect 24 lemons. So here I am underneath the lemon tree and um, if I can get a shot from behind me. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few on it, but um, I'm going to have to dig them out, I'll show you. So there are quite a few, but there's also a lot of bramble, so yeah, it's going to be uh, a bit of a pain. I don't know if you can see anything there, but yeah, probably. <coughs> there's lots of bees in here as well. There's a lot above me. So, here we have a bucket full of lemons. Cool. So, explain what you're doing now. Right, I'm just putting in, obviously, some of the elder flowers. Uh, check, giving me a quick check over for any creatures. So, what's in there at the moment, um, the, the, you saw the sugar go in. I then put in some boiling water to dissolve the sugar, and I've topped that up with water so at the moment there's actually 24 litres of water in there or just under 24 litres because a kettle doesn't quite do two litres and I've put in two boiling kettlefuls um, but we will be juicing the lemons and obviously adding some zest in a moment as well so uh, once I've got some flowers in there without the bugs <laughs> So, we've got to have the zest and the juice of 24 lemons. I find the best way to zest them is to actually use a peeler because what you do, you get, see, just the zest and not the pith, which is the pith is a bit bitter. Yeah, I'll just do that and show you again on the fancy new feature on my camera. So, there.
Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Bad a bit there. So here we have the peel from 24 lemons. That's going in. And Ange is juicing 24, Said 24 lemons. lemons. <laughs> that's the ones that have been done. Pig food. And that's the ones the pigs probably won't eat them, but and that's the ones to be done. Yeah, they're going to go fast. Okay, so last lemon. Last lemon. Just get the pips out and then I can put that in the bin. So we have 25, 24 litres of water, uh, 4.8 8. kilos of sugar, the juice and zest of 24, 24 lemons and 42 no, there's actually about 50... No, no I should say, 50 heads of elderflower. Because some are smallish, so yeah. I thought... So, and 50 heads of elderflower. That's what's left over the lemons, which is going to compost, because um, pigs aren't too keen on them. No, they're a little <laughs> sharp for the piggies. Cool. So. And then we leave this mixture, concoction, uh, somewhere warmish, room temperature really, uh, for six days stirring every day and then we bottle up on the seventh day hopefully it should be still firm fermenting a little bit on the seventh day and that's uh, when you bottle it that's what gives it the fizz so elderflower champagne yay excellent while i'm down this way i just want to show you how busy the bees are this is the hive we caught and they're very busy in and out note to self Cut that branch off on our next feed the pigs. So here we are, uh, bright and early Saturday morning. Uh, well, I'll show you what I'm doing. So, where we had the pipe that went under the road and we were getting water from our neighbour, that's dried up because we haven't had any rain for a long time. So I have this tank full of water here, which looks like green but it's there's water underneath it, honest. So I've put my submersible pump in there, which comes up to here. <coughs> and I've bodged it together with a bit of uh, electrical tape to the pipe that was feeding the IBCs. Now I'm going to use my trusty Bluetti uh, EB55. And plug the pump in, see if it works. We have movement. So that's using 190 watts, and I can hear stuff happening. The weird thing about using these power banks is that there's no noise, nothing happens, and it's like you're not sure if it's really working. But let's go and have a look. low so we'll leave that on see if we can fill them both up there's 2,000 litres so there we go as you can see filling up quite rapidly I'll go and have a cup of tea and uh, we'll see how full they are when I get back so there we go after 20 minutes we're nearly three quarters full so really good it looks like I've left it a bit long uh, I better go and turn everything off so I've been doing and harvested the garlic that we've grown through the winter. As you can see, nice big bulbs, no oh, big um, cloves. cloves. So I'm just cleaning all the soil off them now. 
and any of the wet stuff and give them a little haircut. So then they can dry off and then she ties them together in some... Plat them. Plats them together, yeah, yeah. that's it. And uh, then we have garlic to use most of the year, don't we? Yeah, pretty much. So Just in the place of the garlic, I've put some... Black Beauty Courgettes. Black Beauty Courgettes. Uh, I'm going to show you because they're... <laughs> <laughs> they're a bit intense. They're, big, they're a bit close together, but um, at the moment we, we we should be able to thin them out, and they get a little bit bigger. And we, we make more room by harvesting other stuff. I'll just go and show you now. So there we go. These are the. Uh, black beauty courgettes I've put in eight in this tiny little section um, like I said I may end up taking a few out but uh, yeah so the lettuces are going really well now I'll put another courgette here in this corner another one over there next to all these tomatoes I've just noticed we should have a decent crop of pears this year. I'm also getting on with filling the bed. Uh, a few more loads. And a bit more block work to go, but um, not too bad. We're getting there because I'm going to get Anne's going to put the peanuts in in a couple of days, I expect. And I've just noticed for the first time in a while, I've been treating this uh, um, low cot tree. We have some fruit at last. First fruit we've had in four years. It has this fungal disease. Uh, it's not fire blight, it's another one, but it's very similar to fire blight. Uh, I've been spraying it with um, a mixture of different detergents and oils and uh, yep, we seem to be winning the battle, so that's all good. So today I'm here at Cindy Vines. Um, she has uh, a good friend of hers from South Africa visiting, trying to tidy things up for her. So I'm going to make her a table. Uh, so that should make things a little easier.
Okay, there we go, table done. Uh, just a quick job because I had to cut the timbers in half with the chainsaw in the end because they run out of batteries. But um, yeah, it gives Cindy more space to put. Um, and I love it. Double thumbs up. More space to put it, more rubbish on. Ah! <laughs> Come with it. So I've just got back from Cindy's and Andrew has been busy clearing out. Hang on, I'll just adjust my neutral density filter. I do like the maples. <laughs> Andrea has been um, trying to weed. Trying to weed this area here. Third wheelbar? Yeah. So it looks like she wants me to um, do some more calzada, which is what I should do. But I'll only do it, I'll do it in the next video. So I'll, um, I, it's too hot to do it at the moment. It is a bit warm to do it at the minute. Yeah. I'll give Andrea a hand to weed the rest. For now and then um, we'll do calzada in Friday's video, yeah? Ooh, that'll be good.
So there we go. Uh, five sections all weeded, ready to go. Ready for me to lay some more calzada in. So if you tune into Friday's video, you'll see me doing it. All of these, I suspect, really quickly. Okay, that's it from us this Tuesday. Look at that, I remembered I know, everything. Well done. Thanks for watching everyone. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and uh, ringing that little notification bell. Ding, ding. And we'll see you on Friday for the calzada laying. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and also, before we go, guys, um, a big shout out to Sandra and Raymond for all their help yeah. in the last couple of weeks. Um, Raymond, especially with the help of the editing. Um, yeah, and, all the other, and find somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks to Edward for the seat. I met him in El Padrinha. Uh, thanks for the seat you gave us, and uh, hope you find somewhere as well. Yeah, and like I say to everybody, you know, like I say, gets in touch. It's just brilliant. Like I say, comment away, get in touch with us. We really appreciate it. So thank you, guys. And as you can see here, the level of the pond has dropped by about 3 inches, 75 mil. So that's good.